Hi everybody, in this video, I will discuss about dependency inversion principle. Uh, this is the last one uh, in Solex principle. Uh, this is uh, the rule for, for this principle. This small program, I would like to simulate uh, the way uh, in not following the dependency inversion principle. We have bucket A, object A, and bucket B, object B, and uh, object B referent to object A. The service payment that uh, object back bucket A and we have a uh, calculate service payment that's object A and employee, employee payment that's the same bucket B and uh, from uh, employee payment, we have an object uh, that's referent to bucket, to object A in bucket A. That's the, the cancel service payment in service payment. Uh, this program works fine, but uh, it uh, violates to the, the rule. Because the rule High level module should not depend on a low level module. Both should depend on the abstraction. So we need to to change this program. Yeah, bucket A, object A, bucket B, object B, and uh, object B reference to, to object A. So now we want to change it following the dependency inversion principle. Uh, that means we, we have to make an interface. And now uh, bucket A. Uh, in her risk from interface and bucket B reference to interface. And now we object B uh, not A not the uh, reference to to, to uh, ob object A. Now uh, that reference to interface. Object A. In your risk interface. Yeah, that that one. The way following the dependency inversion principle. Now I I will try to uh, element both ways.
uh, this step I, I will uh, implement uh, the way and that's not uh, following a depend, dependency inversion principle. So we we might uh, so we, And in this this class, I I made the method that can collect service payment. That simple one. Mm -hmm. And I will make a class. I name that. In this class, I would like to make an object to to reference to uh, the service payment class, the, the, the object in service payment class. Okay, that's one. We reference to this method. It work, but it's uh, violate to, to the the dependency inversion principle. Now we we need to change that follow uh, following uh, the, the dependency inversion principle. Now I delete that one. Delete that. And delete this one. Okay. The first, we need to make a uh, interface. Interface and I'd like to name that uh, I. So it's payment. In interface, I just declare uh, methods to calculate a uh, service payment. And now I add uh, a class. We have a class to English interface and uh, another class uh, reference to interface. Service payment. I would like to make the service payment that the class in her in her service payment. I service I service payment. And we need to implement that. That one just uh, return our uh, free and 
सर्विस ओके एंड वी नीड टू मैक क्लास दैट्स रेफरेंट टू इंटरफेस Service employee. Okay. The one we make that that's the object uh, interface. I service payment. And this constructor, uh, that we we have parameter that's the the service service payment object, and we have yes payment here. Just return our service. In the main, we make the object service in that way. Okay. Okay. Now we run that. Yeah, it worked. And this one, the uh, we follow follow the the the. Uh, dependency inversion principle. Uh, that means, uh, is this ob object B uh, referring to object A? Now, ob object B, uh, we we make the uh, interface and object A uh, English interface and object B uh, referring to interface. What we we make uh, interface and we have the object object that's English interface mm -hmm. and we implement that uh, that in uh, the, the the method and the object that one the same object B object B. Uh, we reference reference to to uh, interpay. Yeah. That's e the way that that the the way is following a dependency inversion principle. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next video.